Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Sunday. The end of the weekend is upon us. Hopefully everyone had a good weekend out here. Uh, latest activity here, about 11, 12 a.m. California time, October 20th, 2024, shows a 4.6 earthquake here across the area of Afghanistan, it looks like, just here across this area. One of the latest quakes in the region. Also 3.2 stirring up here just south of Taiwan along the western edge here of the Filipino plate. So what's going on overnight? Let's see what we have here. A couple more deep earthquakes into the Tonga Trench once again. Uh, some slight adjustment here across the New Zealand area with some threes filling in. Uh, not a whole lot of larger activity here this morning, but uh, noticing a, uh, an uptick and deeper activity here north into those uh, trench zones. Also a notable uptick here across the Philippines region with a bunch of threes coming in there as well overnight. Uh, the Japan area looks like uh, maybe another three-pointer over here across the area of Japan. This 4.5 from yesterday, but uh, there's a little three in that region. A little cluster of smaller quakes up into Alaska. Looks like we're starting to get a little bit more active up here across the area of northern Alaska with a handful of... Uh, Further quakes up north here, visible on the Earthquake 3D globe as well up here across the area. Uh, one earthquake here, looks like into the Blanco Fracture Zone or maybe the Cascadia again. Let's see what we got. Uh, that's going to be the Blanco Fracture Zone, a little 2.8 earthquake striking out here earlier this morning. But aside from that, uh, really nothing major going on out there across the Cascadia for now. handful of smaller quakes throughout the Washington area. Looks like uh, this region over here across the mountain ranges here of, uh, I guess this would be central Washington, maybe southeast Washington. Not for sure how they want to define or how they would define that. But uh, in an area out here around desert air of Washington state, uh, this is the area that had some earthquake activity here in the last 30 days. Got about 215 earthquakes here in this uh, little area. Now today it looks like there's been a handful more after a couple days of quietness in that area. Nothing big going on. In fact, the largest magnitude out here in this cluster was only a 2.9. Uh, but something is brewing out here, out here across the uh, um, Tantum Ridge, it looks like eastern edge if i remember right someone mentioned that there's uh, some type of hazardous waste storage area out here or maybe even uh, some type of landfill i'm not for sure exactly what it is out there but uh, it shows that it's uh, just a lot of bare land out here in terms of the satellite imagery so, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing big out there, but it's definitely got some interesting activity there for, you know, a couple hundred earthquakes in the last 30 days, but really no, you know, nothing to show for it, so to speak, you know, as far as any larger quake activity or. But anyway, let's move on past that, see what we got here for Northern California. A couple from yesterday, latest one, a 1.9 here, about 19 miles deep into the southern end of the Cap, uh, Cascadia subduction zone. The rest of Northern California, they're fairly quiet aside from a couple smaller quakes out there. Southern California, let's see what we have here. A couple smaller earthquakes near similar. Most of those from this morning, about six to seven o'clock local time here. Just off of the, um, let's see here, we're gonna be a section of the San Andreas Fault here. Aside from that, the rest of the plate boundary looks pretty quiet. Southern California here in general. Let's see if we got anything above 2.5. Really nothing out there aside from that. Uh, well, there's a little earthquake here near Colinga on the coast range here, the Diablo range, west side of the San Joaquin Valley. Uh, struck out here this morning a little 2.5. But aside from that, general microquake activity out here around the area of Southern California. Really really no major interesting activity 
there's a little bit of swarming going on here across this area outside of Villa Park, Atwood area. Eastern side, I guess this would be the uh, southeastern area of the greater uh, region here of Los Angeles, outside of Anaheim. There's a uh, fault system that sits over here called the uh, Peralta Hills Fault. I wonder if, uh, let's go check this out here, see if I can find out a little bit more information on that. I was meaning to check this out. Let's see if we can find that real quick. Recent earthquakes, data center, I think this is it right here. This uh, Caltech website normally has a, a bunch of information here on fault systems, and I believe that's it. Let me see here, let me bring that back up. Yeah, that's it. Peralta Hills Fault. <coughs> Excuse me. It's actually quite cold out this morning. It's 44 degrees here, uh, which is a little chilly, but I'll, I'll definitely take it. So this type of fault system here looks to be a reverse fault. Very small. About 10 kilometers or so in length. North dipping, possible Holocene rupture, though this may be landsliding mistaken as fault rupture. Hmm. So uh, really no, not too much information here on the potential size of magnitudes out here, but there is a fault system out there and it's showing some earthquake activity here <clears throat> this morning and um, last night. So we'll continue to watch that. Seems like um, as we move on here throughout the days and weeks since our elevated seismic events here in the last couple months, we notice areas that have been awfully quiet start to show a little bit of uptick out here. And this is just one of the newer regions recently uh, showing some earthquake activity. You know, you got the typical zones here, the San Jacinto Fault Zone, the Elsinore Fault, um, but over the past, you know, two to three months here, we've seen elevated seismic activity across various other areas outside the norms here, uh, showing some uptick. And this is just the latest one here in Southern California. Uh, aside from that, no major swarming going on down south here. A couple more earthquakes this morning around the Salton Sea area. The rest of the country out here getting, uh, Still some uh, earthquakes out in the oil fields here of Texas, Oklahoma as well. There's some clustering going on here across the uh, Peru Chile Trench with a bunch of fours out there and some smaller quakes. That um, looks to be a little bit of a hot spot today in that area. Center portion here of the Peru Chile Trench with uh, a couple earthquakes there. Fairly deep into that subduction zone. Not a whole lot going on here through the uh, Puerto Rico area for now. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. Nothing going on out there. Even on the EMSC data here, nothing. Zip zero. Mediterranean regions, got twos and threes out there today. There's the uh, 4.6 Eastern Afghanistan. <clears throat> and uh, I guess overall today, looks like uh, any other day here on planet Earth with an active plate tectonic system let's check out space weather see what's going on here uh, there's a, a definite active region here across the eastern limb that we're monitoring here it'd be visible in the coming days right now we're just seeing the magnetic complexity above the sunspots out there on the far eastern limb but also on the sunspot uh, we're on the flare chart noticing a little steady uptick here in uh, activity so that's going to be a couple different regions coming around the eastern limb that uh, we're going to keep an eye on. There's our first one. That's really not too concerning of that area, but back there's there's a little bit more active region here back on the far side of the sun. Let me show you guys the uh, far side watch. This is from yesterday, so this is a little bit old, but. Um, there's 3842, 3844, one of the 
were two of the sunspots here that were out on the earth facing side of the sun some weeks back now they're um, venturing closer here to the eastern limb and we'll get a better shot of those as we head into this coming week it looks quite active out there in terms of coverage and uh, you know size wise we'll see how complex they are and see if they want to pop off some strong flares as uh, they come around the eastern limb again still pretty bright out there on the UV filter uh, but we don't we can't even see the sunspot area yet but it still shows that it's uh, fairly active on a number of images there overall threat shows a 10% chance for X flare M flare at 60 C flare around 99% chance no major roars in the forecast for now folks but that could change next week if we get uh, some active areas facing the earth and then uh, some CMEs of course to follow any strong flaring storm prediction center out here got uh, pretty much roughly the same areas that got hit yesterday with some severe uh, severe weather activity facing the severe weather threat again today got a 5% chance and 2% zone here mainly across eastern New Mexico for severe weather that's tornado activity here today uh, so watch out for that some wind and uh, even some hail threats out there across the area mainly eastern New Mexico quick glance here at the uh, forecast models here shows uh, some storm system rolling into the Pacific Northwest once again uh, bringing them a whole bunch of rain and some snow I need that to dip just a little bit further south here to Northern California that would make me uh, super happy um, it looks like we will get a little bit of precipitation here as we head towards the end of October could be raining on Halloween maybe uh, and then again it might be out of there by then either way the storm door looks to be opening across the west coast and that is good news as uh, we've had a blaring sizzling hot summer one of the hotter summers ever that I can remember since I've been here and that's the majority of my life so uh, it was it was a scorcher this summer 100 degrees every single day for months 100 or higher I should say I think we peaked out at 117 one day it was brutal here in Northern California that's not Death Valley Sacramento Valley here once you get away from the Delta around Chico area Redding region Redding region here at the northern end of the Sacramento Valley things can cook similar to Death Valley any major asteroids heading this way let's see what we got here for the forecast <laughs> the asteroid forecast I don't know if that's a good thing or not it's good to pay attention though to see what's going on out there really no major close approaches there's some big ones a building size asteroid that's 580 feet but uh, look at that approach well over 2 million miles almost 3 million miles there and that's the uh, number for the majority of them out there so things are fairly safe in terms of these monitored uh, asteroids there from the NASA website seismograph stations out there pretty quiet for now folks so we'll kind of see how the day moves along I'm gonna take the kids here to uh, the uh, pumpkin patch and uh, maybe a, a corn maze or two the kids always like to uh, have a little fun doing that and it's not really gonna be all that hot here today it's supposed to be about 81 um, and that's average here for the Chico area but anyway I'm gonna go out and do a little family events here this weekend or what's left of the weekend here and uh, take advantage of the day hope everyone has a great Sunday and we'll see you guys back out here Sunday night or, or tonight uh, unless something major changes out here in terms of elevated seismic activity for now enjoy your Sunday folks and we'll catch you guys back here later